Okay, so now we're going to define what it means to recursively define a set or a structure. So recall that a set is simply a collection of elements. And so to define a set recursively means to define the set in two parts, a basis step and a recursive step. So the basis step specifies an initial collection of elements, and the recursive step gives a rule for forming new elements in the set from those already known to be in the set. Sometimes the recursive definition has an exclusion rule, which specifies that the set contains nothing other than those elements specified in the basis step and generated by applications of the rules in the recursive step. And this is precisely what we are going to mean by our recursive definitions. So in that so by that we mean that we will always assume that the exclusion rule holds, even if it is not explicitly mentioned. So basically, any sets we define recursively will be assumed that the exclusion rule holds. So all elements of the set are defined through the recursive definition. We will later develop a form of induction called structural induction to prove results about recursively defined sets. But first, let's look at some examples. So we are going to define a subset of the integers, s, recursively. So the basis step specifies the initial elements that are in s, and so we're simply going to define the integer 3 to be an element of s. And then a recursive step generates the rest of the elements in our set s. So the recursive step tells us that if x is an element of s, and y is an element of s, then x plus y is also an element of s. So what does our set look like? So initially, 3 is an element of our, of our set s, and the recursive set tells us to generate other functions, we can only add elements of s together. So since 3 is our only initial element in s, we must add 3 to itself in order to generate a new element. So if we add 3 plus 3, we get 6, and now 6 is an element of our set S via the recursive step. So now, since we have a new element in S, we can add 3 plus 6 together, so 3 plus 6 gives us 9, and so 9 is now an element of our set S. And now that we have a new element in our set S, we can add it to any of the previous elements we've had, so we can add 3 plus 9, and that gives us 12, which is an element of s. And we can also add 6 plus 9, which is 15, which is also an element of s. And as you can see, s is simply the multiples of 3. And we can use structural induction to prove that. Okay, let's look at another example. So it turns out that the natural numbers can also be defined recursively. So the set of natural numbers can also be refined, defined recursively. Um, since the basis step specifies initial collection of elements to be added to the set, and since 0 is the smallest natural number, we know that through the basis step we must add the number 0. And then notice that the natural numbers are simply obtained by counting, and counting means simply the addition of 1 each time. So our cursive step is essentially just that if n is a natural number, then n plus 1 is also a natural number. And so how do we interpret this recursive definition? Well, initially, 0 is our only element of s. And by s, we mean n. Um, and recall that as soon as an element is in n, then we can add 1 to it. And that element is in n. So 0 plus 1 equal to 1 is a natural number. And then we can take 1 and add 1 to it. So 1 plus 1 equal to 2 is a natural number. And we can take 2 and add 1 to it, so 2 plus 1, which is 3, is a natural number, and so on. So this, as you can see, will generate the natural numbers.